My name is Ryan Levi Plue. We're here at WJ Titan, and this is In the Lab. Today we're going to discuss what is GDT. So, GDT is a language. It's no different than learning English or German or even Japanese. It's a way to effectively communicate to give clear and concise meaning. One of the important things about GDT is, is nothing is implied, everything is explicit. Unfortunately, what that means for a lot of people is, is the design and intent for the symbol being used isn't necessarily how it looks or is represented on a print. For example, you can't have a diametric true position symbol on a feature of size that is only two parallel planes. A lot of other people misinterpret a profile and how its tolerances are actually applied to nominal geometry. And then we could talk about the obscure symbols like symmetry, concentricity, or even parallelism. And the lack of understanding is usually the gap between design and quality. So it's important to remember that GDT is just a language and it walks you through how to communicate what a feature control frame is representing and it also gives you clear definitions on what symbols can control and what symbols can't control and the requirements needed for that symbol to actually be appropriately utilized. So again, GDT is just a language. It's changed through the years. Certain things have been cleared up. Other things have became just a little bit more confusing but at the end of the day, it's just a language. My name is Ryan Levi Plu. We are here at WJ Titan. If you guys have any questions or would like to start a conversation, please drop a comment below or don't be afraid to reach out to me or one of my colleagues. So we've talked about GD&T three or four times now. I'm pretty sure everybody has it. Nope, not gonna get it. We tried. I'm leaving. I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs>